Right, guys it is thursday when you're watching this so it is a book club video so this video is the goodie box so you guys know actually let me grab the book it is literally right here behind me and the book that won or the one we're reading for march is one of us is lying um this was the one that got voted the highest on the community poll this was one of charmaine's suggestions but i actually have suggested it in the past it has been on my tbr for a long time so i'm happy we're reading it this one is the goodie box. So basically, it's what we're going to eat, drink, use while reading this book. Um, I'm hoping you guys see these things as I'm filming for my self-care Sunday. So I do want to sit and like film me reading because that's self-care, you know. Um, and then I'm going to be using some masks. You should definitely see that in my self-care. Um, maybe not this Sunday because I already have a lot of pre-filmed content. But definitely next Sunday. Um because I will be reading this throughout March. I'm going to try to read it slowly. I'm the kind of person, once I start, I just want to finish it. Um, but I want to, like, enjoy the books more. But it's kind of hard, especially when it's thrillers. So I might not even start this till the weekend. That way, if I do get attached, it's at least the weekend and I'm home. Oh, we might have a snow day tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway. So I decided to go with a red theme for this one. I wish I had to go with the theme. And I think because of the like red writing, plus it's, you know, there's a murder involved. So it definitely makes me think of red. Um, so I did a red theme. So the first thing is, is I always use a book sleeve and a book mark when I read. So I don't have a huge collection of book sleeves. Honestly, you don't need that many book sleeves. I mean, there's like a large, a medium, and a small. Um, I do have more than three, but I think I only have like six. <laughs> I know people that have like 20 and I trust me I'm not judging them I'm only saying this that I don't I actually didn't have a book cover that had like red I actually have one but it's like donuts and I thought this went with the theme more even though it's not red it's my mean girls one and it makes me think of uh because that book this book is like based out of a high school I thought of like the mean girls one was kind of perfect to go along with it so I love book sleeves and this one is a hardcover so it does need to be a bigger sleeve so this one is perfect for that where I think my other one might have been too small because this is look at the size difference yeah I think this one would have been too small because hardcovers are a lot thicker um and I love book sleeves because they basically protect your book so if you put your book oh actually it would have just fit perfectly so if you put your book sleeves like in your backpack in your bag you know sometimes it happens it gets crunched like the the pages and um it just gives a little extra protection and with these especially when the weather's better when i bring this to the beach when i bring this to the pool better protection from the sand from the water it's also perfect if i just go sit on my back on my porch or on my backyard there's a little pocket here and i literally would just like slide my phone slide my chapstick and a little snack depending on the size and boom i take this right on the porch with me these are super duper convenient this one i got from book in a sweater which is an instagram page i think she might have a website now she was talking about developing a website um if she has a website i will link it if not i will just link the instagram page it's a small business that i buy from my other book sleeves are from book barn galore i think that's the only two places my book sleeves are from and then the next thing, like I said, I always use a bookmark. So usually I show you guys the GG and Bo bookmarks. Majority, like literally 99% of my bookmarks are GG and Bo. But this one is actually one from Book Barn Galore. The book sleeve um, website, they also do bookmarks. This one was free in order. I kept this. I, this is brand new. I'm going to rip this off after the video. But I kept it on because I wanted to show you guys. It comes just so you guys know like these small businesses are amazing to buy from. I'll be linking them down below. It came in this nice little plastic sleeve and on it it says whoops this item has a small imperfection. This freebie is still fully functional. So instead of like getting rid of it she figured I'll give it as a free gift. So I don't even see the imperfection. You guys let me know. Uh, but this one is a fabric one versus book um ggm bow which is laminated so i like i'm gonna try something different and like it and see how i like it it is very very cute this was from her like romance collection um this was like last year around valentine's day she released this i didn't buy this last year i bought this i got this when i bought she did like a scream collection for halloween and i bought a screen book sleeve for a friend and then this was like the free gift she threw in and then it has a red little tassel i think she had like a beauty and the beast theme and this went with that collection um i like her book barn galore thing on snap 
stamp on the side. But this is what I mean about small business. They're really good at throwing in little freebies. They really care about their customers. Like, look, she like, like I said, she could have just thrown this away and said she gave it to me. And like, I don't even see an imperfection on here. But for her, it was imperfect enough that she didn't want to sell it. They really only give their best work to their customers. At least the small businesses I support and I listen. I know you guys might have different experiences. Every play, you know, everybody's different. But like I see all the time, like Gigi and Bo, I see her behind the scenes on, um, her videos uh because she does like little reels here on instagram and stuff and she will literally like show you like how everything has to be perfectly cut straight and if something's cut off wrong like she will literally like throw in a freebie pile so because i'm not someone who's like that like intricate into detail like so i mean i don't even see what's wrong with this do you guys see anything um like i got another freebie from Gigi and Bo. And I was like, I literally don't see anything wrong with this. But anyway, so that is the book sleeve and the bookmark I always use. I'll link Gigi and Bo down below too since I did bring her up a few times. You guys know I love her. And then I'm also going to be using this cherry chapstick. Um, I literally use chapstick all the time. I literally always have it in my pocket. I am like chapstick obsessed. And then I have some masks I'm going to use. So I have a few because I just talked about it. I just filmed my um beat the blues collab follow through with gold habits and new things i want to try um that went up on tuesday so if you guys want to go check that out i'll remember i'll try to remember to link it down below and i talked about how i want to start incorporating more masks because i just did mask madness and it has made my skin feel amazing and i said i have so many masks i should use this more often so i grabbed this cranberry and apple probiotic repair mask from vitamass i got a pack of like five of these from fab fit fun so i'm going to use one of these I also got this little pack of, it's a three pack, and I got this at Dollar Tree, of a peel off foil mask. So there's three different masks in here. I'm hoping I can use all three while I read. Depends if I read it one day, I'm gonna do five masks in a day. And then I also have this Soon Pomegranate Hydrogel Eye Patch with Collagen. This actually was included in the giveaway for my Mask Madness. This also came in like a five pack, so I'm gonna use one. I gave one away. Um, so I mean, I have so many of these. I need to start using them. If I remember, I'll tag. I'll tag. I'll link the Mask Madness videos down below because the giveaway is still open. If you guys want to watch that, and then. So that is what I'll be using. Now what I'll be eating and drinking. So um, you guys have seen this before. Um, I forgot what book it was. I think it was Jack the Ripper. I did like a red theme uh, for obvious reasons. Um, actually, it might have not been Jack the Ripper because the, the cover was green. So I think I did a green theme actually. I think it was for the second one, which is like Prince Dracula or something in the series. But I love these. I buy these every time I go to the grocery store. Um, I am such a huge Jello person. Um, I buy the individual packs and bring them to my bring them for my lunch all the time. And then I usually always have a big container in my fridge with one of these. And like every night when I want like a late night snack, that's what I do. I'll like scoop out of that bowl, put a little whipped cream because these are like way healthier than me going out for like ice cream or something. And I love sometimes I'll just get cherry or strawberry but I love these flavors they always have them at Walmart when I go I've even seen them once in a blue moon at Dollar Tree but this is the Skittles one Joe loves this one too and the Starbucks uh, Starbucks oh my god Starburst and cherry they also have it in blue Raz. they have it in the pink Starburst in the watermelon um but and I have those in my pantry but like I said I'm going with a red theme here so I'll make these put it in a big bowl this weekend or on the snow day tomorrow if I have a snow day and I will definitely be having little bowls of this while I read my book and then you guys have seen me show this a few times there is 20 tea bags in here I probably drinking about five or six so I still got a good amount to go I love these they're the strawberry hibiscus herbal tea and I didn't even think of that until I bought this box. But it literally says 20 staple free tea bags. And I never thought of that. Like that staple sitting in the tea is probably not good for you. Like the hot water, the metal. You know, I just think of like everything causes cancer nowadays. Um, this one is caffeine free, which I prefer if I'm reading like late at night. And um, again, it goes to that red theme. I love the flavor and it is great value. So it's Walmart brand. This box was really, really cheap. I think, oh, sorry guys. I think it might've been like 288 or something like that for 20 tea bags. And then, like I said, we might have a possible snow day tomorrow. So even though it's March, I am gonna be showing you some hot drink options. After this, you probably won't see any more hot drink options for a while. But I did my hot cocoa bar for Valentine's Day. If I remember, I'll link that down below. If you guys wanna see and you don't see it, the link, let me know. 
um, and I'm trying to finish up what's left because I'm going to remove that by end of March. Um, and then I usually just keep the counter bare with like just decor. I won't do like a hot cocoa bar um, anymore. And I still had one of these Dunkin' hot cocoa bombs left over and it was perfect because it was the red one. So this one does say spicy. I don't know why it says that because there's nothing spicy in the ingredients. So I had even said when I drank this one, me and Joe would do like a, a mukbang. Um, so if I remember, maybe I'll do that. But yeah, I'm going to try that before hot cocoa season ends. And then on my hot cocoa bar, I had these for Christmas and they transitioned into Valentine's Day because they are red. So it's perfect. And then this is the official book club mug because both me and Charmaine have it. So when I do have my hot cocoa, it'll be out of this mug. And then this is, I still have, um, I have more than this, but not that much. The stuff did dwindle. Um, so, but I still have like one or two of these dark chocolate coated peppermint cookie stirrers. So, um, I'll be finishing up these. I'm not a huge fan of peppermint, but this doesn't bother me so much because it's very little pieces. Um, this one is hot chocolate with marshmallows, like on a spoon. So I could just stir my hot chocolate with it or just stir regular milk and let the chocolate melt. I'm not going to lie, though. I usually do do hot chocolate and then mix that because I like it extra chocolatey. And then I still had some leftover chocolate-covered pretzels, the white with the red swirl. I know somebody mentioned that actually in that video. They were like, oh, do you, like, throw them away? Like, what do you do if it's, like, past the season? And I try to just be aware. I said, okay, I know I want that stuff to be gone by end of March. Let's finish up these little snacks. I also give stuff away. I have a bunch of Peeps left over. I don't like Peeps. I bought them more if anyone else wanted them. Um, the hot cocoa bar is like, you know, when I have company and stuff, I'll offer them. So um, I think I'm going to go bring the Peeps to a friend. I have a friend who is obsessed with Peeps. So I'll probably drop off the leftover Peeps with him. And then I also have this bag of mini animal crackers. These were from my old job. I used to bring the snacks home that the kids didn't eat. Um, I will keep up there for quite a while, like, you know, one to two weeks. And then, okay, if they haven't eaten, I'm going to take it home. And these were, these are literally perfect because they're little hundred calorie packs. They're cinnamon. I think I can even dip this in my tea or just eat it as is. Um, almost all the snacks are gone now. I think I have like maybe 10, 15 bags of this. And I still have, um, not the Auntie Annie's. I ate all those already. There is like a goldfish cracker, but it's the cinnamon sweet kind. It's like a graham cracker, not this cheesy kind. I still have those. The cheesy kind, the kids eat up right away. So is that everything? Yeah. And then when I am drinking something cold, I will be drinking out of my Starbucks cup. You guys say I'm literally drinking out of it right now. I love this cup. This is the one I always have on the side of me when I'm home. Um, it helps keep drinks cold because it's double walled. I mean, not as cold as like a Stanley, but for when I'm home, I pour cold water in. I'm fine. I like the Stanley and like other like, you know, more heavy duty for when I'm like out, like for work. I'm going to be out for eight hours. I want my water to be cold, you know? Um, but this was the holiday collection from like two years ago. Joe treated me to it. It has gotten much use out of it. It was well worth the $20 because I literally use this every day, not just around the holidays. So yeah, that is everything. Showed you guys my masks, my my treats, what I'm going to drink, my cup, the book we're reading, the bookmark, the book sleeve. I will link GG and Bo and Book Barn Galow and Book in a Sweater down below. I'll try to remember to link the Hot Cocoa Bar and the Mask Madness videos if you guys are curious about that. Um, let me know if you're joining us this book club uh, session like this month if you'll be reading the uh, One of Us is Lying. They actually made it into a TV show. I think it's on Amazon Prime. Um, I still haven't looked it up. But I have, people are loving it. That's why they even made it into a show. Um, and if you are reading it down below, don't give me any spoilers. Just let me know if you're liking it. Definitely go check out Charmaine's video. Go see what's in her goodie box. And I will link down below also our book club Facebook group that we now have. Um, me and Charmaine. It's just one quick place if you want to see what's going on in book club. We'll, sh we'll link our videos every Thursday on there. Sometimes we have discussions. Uh, we talked about the book. Like me, like... The last video of the month is always our review of the book, um, but more people wanted to discuss it. And instead of doing it in the comments, they did it over on the book club book, uh, Facebook group. And um, so this was the goodie box. 
Next week is recommendations for next book club. We are going to order just a little bit. The week after that is the questions. And then the week after that is us answering the questions and the final review. Um, so yeah, that is this week's book club video. If you are reading it, let me know what you're eating, drinking, using while you're reading it. Like I said, go check out Charmaine. Go check out our Facebook group. It'll all be linked down below, guys. Be safe.